We're back here at Xavier Hall. We're joined with senior captain of the lacrosse team, Dylan Klein. Dylan, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Ben, it's an honor to be here. Thanks for having me. Okay, the lacrosse team this year, really, really the underrated story of the spring, I think. Um, I mean, I don't think enough can be stressed about you guys are losing two All-Americans in uh, London and Vegan, and you're losing um, Reynolds, uh, Reynolds to uh, Kenyon. Tell us about how you're going to replace those three guys. Ben, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Vegan and London, over 200 points last season. You don't get those numbers every year. Unbelievable. Arguably two of the best attackmen to ever come through the St. John's Prep lacrosse program. However, this year, we have freshman Garrett Campbell. Remember the name, folks. Garrett Campbell. Garrett Beverly Campbell Mass. of Beverly Farms, Massachusetts. This kid can play the game of lacrosse. Some say he is the next Jeff Egan. Wow. Whether he is That's a big statement. Whether he is is yet to be determined. However, folks, keep an eye on Garrett Campbell. In addition, I have to mention John Jennings, a sophomore here at St. John's Prep. Also a fantastic player. He can put the ball in the back of the net. And you can't leave out the name Mark Scalise, the junior here. Transfer from Phillips Exeter Academy up in New Hampshire. He's been getting Division I letters for over a year now. The kid's a top recruit. Well, people are saying, are already saying, Harvard he might be joining uh, our own Sean O'Hara up there. Ben, you got to wonder, his dad, Bob Scalise, is the athletic director at Harvard University. So, some say he's going to spoon the door, but we'll see how it goes. Hey, we'll take a blue chip any day of the week, you know that? Now, the, the strength of this team's obviously defensively with your uh, control. Um, but the real question mark on this team, I think we can all agree, is that you've got Cash coming back. It's his job right now, I think. But you've got Tom Musumici coming in. Tom Musumici. And you've got, um, who's, the, who's the third coming in uh, competing for the job? Nicholas Valenti. That's it. Nicholas Valenti. Quick hands. He's a sophomore. I've seen him play. He's a sophomore. He'll be on the uh, squad for another three years, so we're going to make things with him. Okay, now, Ken, in terms of postseason success, the cross team has faltered in the past two years, not really advancing as far as you would like. This year, how far can you guys go? Ben, the way we look at it, it can't get any worse than last year. We bowed out in the first round. I don't even really want to talk about the game. And to uh, Walden Catholic, he was a heartbreaker. This year, we're back stronger than ever. We have that will to win inside of us, and you will see it on the field this year, then. Now, Chris Layton, your co-captain, has said the team's motto this year is... Go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. And we need it when we say it, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dylan, thank you so much for coming on the show with us. Ben, I'd like to thank you for having me. Very right. So when we come back, we're going to talk about the tennis team and the volleyball team. Stay tuned. We're back here at Xavier Hall, St. John's Prep. <clears throat> now, Sean, let's talk about the tennis team. Um, tennis team, kind of a disappointment last year. Some would say they underachieved by bowing out to Conquer Carlisle in the semifinals of the North. What can we expect from the tennis team this year? They're absolutely talented. The only problem is they're top heavy men. Starting off at number one singles is a hard hitting 110. Possibly miles per hour, sir, is that right? Might be a little steep, but close I'm enough. Close enough. Rolls down there, number one single, great player. Moving on, we have a sophomore in James, is it James Harden, is that right? James Holden. James Holden, Holden. sorry about that. Yeah, he's a, he's a young talent. Um, from what I hear, he moves around the court really well, volleys well, does it all. Um, that's really what you want to see out of a young player stepping up. Then in third singles, we have you yourself, who's uh, proven himself in the past, just a good good all-around player. Not his number one sport, as obviously he's going to Georgetown to play soccer. But you know, he'll contribute, definitely be scoring points for the squad, which you, which you need to see. 
number one, uh, number one doubles, we have Alex Lyons and Ryan Lanigan, who are strong players. They did well last year. But past them, it's really just a question mark. And even behind the number one single, if somebody gets hurt, uh, it's going to be a problem. So if everybody can stay healthy and they can dig up some decent number two, new, number two doubles, then they'll be a solid squad. Absolutely. And then for, for the guys who are competing for that second doubles position, you've got Bill Pepicelli, who's um, you know, a great athlete. You've got um, a couple incoming guys that are all battling it out. You've got Eric Gang, uh, Jake Dewey, really anybody's position to win. So, um, Sean, if I had to tell you to give our team a grade, what would you give us? Um, obviously, a talented squad. No question about that. The only problem, obviously, <coughs> is obviously the depth. A little joke up here, sorry about that. Understandable. But um, yeah. have some white coffee. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm gonna give them a, <coughs> an A minus. They did well last year. They're returning a lot of players. I'm definitely gonna see a solid performance. Like hopefully see a solid performance. Sorry about that. But uh, so A minus is probably fitting. Okay. I, I like that great Sean. Um, then we move over to volleyball. The defending state champions, probably. The surest lock, if you can even say that, I'm not sure you can. Not on the St. Right. John's Prep campus. <laughs> not um, here. Not here. Well, they did win the state championship last year, returned most of their team. They lose Stefan Villars. Eric, walk us through this volleyball team. Well, two names, Craig Harvey, Sean O'Connor. Pretty much all you need to know. Great kids, great athletes, great volleyball players. Expect them to take them to, uh, there's, no, there's no doubt in my mind, these kids are going to take control. They're gonna they're gonna make it happen this year, Ben. Now Craig Harvey's off to Juniata, the number one Division three uh, volleyball school in the country. So he's a, he's been well recruited, uh, and he was actually Boston Globe Player of the Year last year. So expect big things from Craig Harvey. But also you mentioned O'Connor and Harvey, but this team's deeper than that. They've got Sean Bishop, they've got Tucker Brownie, they've got Skyler Murphy. Truly a deep team. In every respect, Ben, you know. They, those two players take all the glory, but they get a great supporting cast. You know, they're kind of on the back burner to some of the to some of the press that they're getting. But you know, good, great players have great supporters, and those and those supporters are great supporters. Take that, take that one, Twister. <laughs> Write well, that one down. Uh, their coach, Coach Vaselli, really one of the unheralded coaches on the prep campus. Truly, truly a great coach. Um, Works them hard every day. So, Eric, final grade for the volleyball team this year. I'm going to give him an A. I'm going to give him an A. St. John's Prep, defending state championships, coach, players. There's not really much else you need. That's, all, that's what else you need, Ben. You yeah. think they have it? Oh, they got it. They got it. Well, when we return, we're going to come back with um, our final sport, which will be um, nothing. <laughs> That's it. Okay, sorry, you got seven sports right there. You got rugby, sailing, baseball, lacrosse, volleyball, tennis, and what's the final one, boys? <laughs> or us. <laughs> Is we're, we're, we're sailing? We're, we cover sailing? Did we hey, cover sailing? How many, I'm going to ask you a oh, question. Wait. How many state championships do you, do you predict? Yeah? Before we get to that question, I'm sorry, track boys. We forgot there spring track. There it is, track. spring track. Um, the track team, obviously, obviously one of the strongest teams on campus. They do it in the winter, they do it in the spring, they do it all year round. This team is really deep. Sean, who are the key guys on that track team? 